I'm working on a 2007 Ford Taurus with the 3.0 liter. It has a little over 148,000 miles on it. Uh, it has a check engine light and the code is pulling up a P0191. So the history with this vehicle. The owner purchased this vehicle from his neighbor. He said it was sitting for six years. It was a crank no start. They threw in a fuel pump. He said it was not the assembly. They bought an aftermarket kit from Amazon for around $25. When they replaced it, the car ran, and he said it ran fine. Um, he did let it sit again now for around four months, and I guess yesterday he tried to start it. He said it was a hard start. When eventually he got the car running, um, he said he heard a pop from the intake, and he felt like it, it kept wanting to stall. So he got the car over to me and he said when he was driving it, he said he felt the same thing. It felt like it was lacking power and it felt like it, it, like it wanted to stall on the way over. So I asked him if he replaced the fuel filter at the same time when he did the pump and he said no. So even knowing they didn't replace the fuel filter, uh, I did get permis permission to replace that. But first off, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> Ford, what they did was uh, they took away that Schrader valve and they replaced it with this fuel rail pressure sensor so this thing's basically a strain gauge device and this is actually going to use um, engine vacuum so what I'm going to do to diagnose this thing and what I'm going to show you guys first is I'm going to crank this vehicle over and basically I'm just going to show you a key on engine off fuel pressure and then I want to show you the fuel pressure while it's cranking um, so and then uh, we'll go under the hood and I'll show you how to uh, diagnose this and We'll figure out if it's the sensor, the fuel pump, the PCM, or a driver issue. So when I'm cranking, just pay attention to the uh, fuel rail pressure sensor 1 versus the desired because it should be around anywhere from 35 to 40, key on, engine off. And you'll see, um, just pay attention to that pressure sensor. So that's well below spec, so let's go under the hood and figure out uh, what's going on. So if you guys want to verify that that sensor is operating correctly as well, um, you'll need a fuel gauge, fuel pressure gauge, and you'll have to tee in somewhere. You have a fuel line underneath here and a fuel line underneath there. Or but unless you have an adapter, but you'll have to tee in, and if you verify that those two are within the same spec, then that sensor should be operating correctly. So the first check that I'm going to do is make sure that, um, I'm going to check the vacuum supply, go into that sensor. So you'll need a vacuum gauge. I'm using this OTC, I guess the port number is 
So we should expect to see 15 to 20 inches of mercury on this gauge. If I see that, then I know my vacuum supply is good to, to this sensor. So if your vacuum supply is not good, then you need to start there and figure out where you have a leak and what's going on, and that could be affecting um, that could be affecting uh, the pressure going through uh, the injectors. However, um, this is showing good vacuum supply, so I'm going to move on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this with my scan data reading. Let's see. So the barrel pressure on the scan tool is saying 15 inches of mercury and that ma matches the gauge. So I'm going to move on to the next step from here. So the last thing I'm going to do and show you guys is some voltage readings on that sensor. So I have the meter set up, 14, uh, 14 volt scale, it's actually at 10 seconds, so I'm going to connect it to ground. So, we're on battery negative, and I'm just going to zero, zero out the meter. So I'm going to back... I'm going to back probe into the signal. We should see 5 volts. So I do see 5 volts on that. So in the middles, we should see about 0. That should be our return. Which we do. And now the uh, input. So we have 1.7 here on the uh, on the meter. And 1.6, 1.6 on the scan tool. So it is normal to see a, a, a variable between the two. So here's what I'll do is we'll watch the meter and I'm going to uh, give it some throttle. So I'm looking to see um, if the PCM is reacting uh, with that sensor. And basically, what this is telling me is that um, the sensor, I can't condemn it. So it seems to be uh, looking at the scan tool. 
and at the meter, the sensor is functioning properly, so there's only one other thing that uh, could be thrown this code. So the only thing that I'm not going to show is teeing in, which I already did. I did verify that the fuel pressure and um, the fuel pressure on the scan tool, it did match on the uh, fuel pressure gauge and on the uh, scan tool. So right now, and based off of the gauge in the car, I'm going to tell the customer, and based off of the history, to replace the whole pump assembly. So this will be like a part one, and they weren't too fond of purchasing a new fill pump uh, in the first place. So I don't know if I'll sell the job or not, but this will be a part one. Um, if I wind up selling the job and getting a new pump, then I'll do a part two pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for a part two video. If I do sell the customer a fuel pump and a fuel filter, I'll be posting that video up shortly after this one.